myself and introduce two loves of my life that will never, ever leave me. Here's one. Oreo. Say hi. This is Oreo. She is my latest dog. She is a German Shepherd Pit Black Lab Mix. Rescued her from the side of the street. She had parasites. Her fur wasn't amazing. And now she's the happiest dog I've ever known in my life. She is three and a half. My other one loves to sunbathe. Here she is. About 85 degree weather. Chilling on this pillow. Roasting up a storm. Her name is Junebug. June, really. I call her Junebug. She is four and a half years old. She is a pit bull. As far as I know, um, she is four and a half. I believe I said that her name is, or I'm sorry, her birthday is in June. That's why her birthday is June, June 15th. 15th is the day we got her in August. An Oreo's birthday, yes, I'm that uh, sort of dog mom. Her birthday is in September, and I got her the 8th of October, so that's why I celebrate her birthday September 8th. June 15th. This dog right here has so many allergies. She's allergic to cockroaches, rice, corn, lamb, peas, ragweed to name a few. So she's on a specialty diet and try to avoid all those other things. So let's start out here first. This is, ooh, sorry you stepped on her toes. This is our backyard or part of our backyard. And when I say R, I mean my boyfriend and I. My boyfriend's name is Joe. We have been together for 10 years. This is just a regular flower pot. Here we have some raspberries. They're already blooming and starting to produce raspberries. It might be a while. Right here. If you see right there, there's some raspberries. Here we have peach trees and all these flowers are going to be bloomed, so hopefully we'll have a good year. Last year we didn't have a very good year because the wind gets kind of fierce and it blew off pretty much most of the buds. But you can see right here, there's some peaches already growing. Make some peach tea. Here we have an artichoke bush. Three stalks, so hopefully we'll get at least three artichokes. I don't know how they grow. This is kind of a new thing for us. Oh, look, there's an artichoke growing right there. Yes. You guys were first to see it with me. You and Oreo. <laughs> we have some rose bushes, lots of roses, just some annuals there were winters and there's another rose bush we have some vines along the back this side gets way more light this way this side looks way better than this side and then we have a birdhouse some more trees right here's our herb garden some mint or you want mint I feed them mint when I want them to have fresh breath she spits it out she eats it if it's in little pieces in there. See? <laughs> Oreo. Get your mint. Nope. There's some scallions right here. And then I'm currently growing some garlic. I grew about soon though. We have some sage and some, some basil. I like to make some pesto sauce with it. It's pretty delish. I don't know what this is, but it's just a flower. We have some tomatoes, some pepperoncinis, and some of the pepperoncinis are growing right here. I'm not a fan, but Joe likes them. He likes pepperoncinis. Some asparagus. Don't know how well they're going to do. We planted it during the summertime, so I don't know. And then some heirloom tomatoes. And then here we have a lemon tree. And all these little flower buds, those are the lemons. They won't bloom or they won't be ready to harvest until November. There are one right here. And then we have the psycho. Oh, she stopped us. And, oh, there she goes. <laughs> I love her. And then we have a garden right here. These two of the whole backyard. And yes, we live in Vegas. 
you can have a backyard in Vegas. It doesn't get too hot. Oh, I also forgot to mention, this is new. That's why I forgot to mention. It's grapes. Joe calls it the grapery. I'm going to call it the vineyard. There's June, looking up dirty water. They have water in the house. So, if we come inside, there's a dog bed, and that's heated. Yeah, spoiled, spoiled. Kitchen, pretty basic. All these appliances, well, not all the appliances, like the dishwasher, obviously the sink, this came with it, the refrigerator came with it, and then everything else we just added. So yeah, I don't really use all these things. Even my Keurig right here I think is broken. I think the most thing that the, this counter uses is that little coffee pot right there, and that's Joe's coffee pot. Um, this is our living room, and there's a whole bunch of... Like, the afghans are for me and Joe to stay warm. He likes the house cold. I freeze. Um, the other blankets are on the couch because the dogs like to play and so there's scratches all over the place, but it doesn't really make a difference because if you look, there's scratches everywhere. We know now not to get leather couches. But, in all fairness, um, we didn't get the dogs till after the couches. So, we didn't have any type of frame of reference. Um, TV, a whole bunch of DVDs. We actually have a fire stick, and it's pretty awesome, so we don't even really watch DVDs. We watch it with the fire stick. Um, I have a whole bunch of pictures. They're all pretty much of dogs. There's Joe and June. There's Joe and my parents' dogs. June and Oreo. I work hard so my dog can have a better life. This is one of my favorite pictures of June. We were at a wedding, and then there's June and Oreo. Oreo was a little puppy. That's one of my favorite pictures of them both. Most of the pictures that I have around the house are of the dogs. I love my dog. One of me and Joe without any dogs. This was about um, five years ago when we first got June. So it was about four and a half years ago. I lied. I was at a wedding. All right. So if we keep going on a tour of my house, this is an area that doesn't get used. It's basically for storage. There's the boyfriend's snowboard. There's a treadmill we, I think we've used a handful of times. Dining area, which we don't really use. That's kind of new, I set that up. That was a part of the sectional in our couch that we took away, but it works out. Um, in here, we have a dog room. So this is technically a guest bedroom, but we converted it into a dog room. So there's our kennel, there's a water, a futon, yes, yeah, so they can be comfortable, of course, and a dog door. So this dog door goes out to the run. I didn't uh, put that in there, didn't really feel necessary because there's dog poop all over the place. And then there's some more pictures, me and Joe went camping, Malibu, June and Oreo. Um, Eagle Point, we're at St. Lucia, June's first birthday, yes again, I'm that type of dog owner. This is June when we first got her, you cute little puppy, and then there's, uh, June and Joe. Um, I've done a whole bunch of these whining canvas things, there was a phase where I was into it, so I got a, I got a handful, actually, um, I made Joe do one with me as a couple night. So here's kind of where I'm at right now. I wanted to, like I said, I mentioned before, I wanted to start maybe doing um, dog clothes tutorials or maybe even do such like, um, kind of like, I have this, please contact me if you want it, if YouTube does that. So I make these dog clothes. I try that. Here's Joe's mom right here. And that's Joe's mom's significant other. And this is basically his whole family. Dogs, dogs, dogs. Grand Canyon. Joe's birthday. Yep. Keep going, keep going. Here's a bird's eye view of the area we don't use. It's kind of messy. It's all good. Oh, this painting right here is a wine and canvas, and it was one of those couple things. So I made Joe. Comment if you think you know which side I did, and if you think you know which side Joe did. Keep going up. Some steps. Here is some more winding canvas. This one was actually the first one I did. I think it's the ugliest one. Boyfriend's from Wainwright. 
Here is our loft area. This is Joe's loft slash office. And this is my loft slash office slash craft area. So there's my sewing machine. I'm currently working on another coat right there. It's not 100% finished. Um, I've also start. I've also done crocheting. I'm not amazing at it, but I've done crocheting. So yeah, that's kind of my craft area. And Joe actually built this for me. There's some more um, fabric and stuff. There's another winding canvas and some storage bins. In here, there's Oreo. She likes to follow me around. In here we have a guest bedroom. Don't really. Um, here's there. I have a few of these around my house. Here is a Nordstrom ad in a magazine a long time ago. I was a Nordstrom model for them, and that girl next to her, that's actually my sister. Yeah, so they basically took that picture and an artist did a rendition of this. Guest bedroom. I'm in bathroom. This is where Joe sleeps. I'll explain why he sleeps in here. Come on, Oreo. Laundry room. I'm not going to show you that. It's pretty standard. Santa pictures. I have way more. This is just our first year with Jim. Her paw print. Her baby teeth. <laughs> Here's a collage of photos with me and Joe and some other people. Um, here is the master bedroom. I started doing this recently. I'm just hanging my purses up. See how I like it. They're all, these are all Michael Kors. I have other ones. I just don't use them that much because I've used them so much it's kind of being destroyed so I don't want to use them anymore. So yeah, all these are Michael Kors, Michael Kors, Michael Kors. I got a bit of a, a, an obsession with Michael Kors. Michael Kors, Michael Kors. Um, here is the master bedroom. This is where I sleep. There's my closet. That's the teeny closet. I don't mind. I don't have a lot of clothes. Um, so, like I said, Joe sleeps in another bedroom. Now, you're probably like, well, why does your boyfriend sleep in another bedroom? Isn't it pretty standard that you guys sleep together in the same bed? Um, to each relationship is it done. Since me and my boyfriend feel it is easier, I'm trying that will make things easier, like trying to freaking, there we go. Um, so, he has a bad back. And he needs something to support his back so it doesn't hurt in the morning. He's an older dude. I mean, he's not like 80 years old or whatever. He's 40, so he's been around the block a little bit. And, um, so that's why he sleeps on that couch. Now, the reason why he sleeps in a different bedroom is because he snores. And that keeps me awake. And he also doesn't sleep very well. He goes in spurts. So, the dogs sleep with me, and if he slept in here, so we did try having the couch in here, and we still slept in the same room. But the dogs kept waking him up. So, he doesn't sleep very well, so that's why he moved to the other room. So that's that situation. Um, but that's pretty much all. Um, like I said, I'm hoping this is kind of like a stepping stone to what I actually am trying to get to, like a, the bigger picture. So that's the end of this video. Um, thanks for watching. If you stumbled across it, I still appreciate you watching. Um, please be on the lookout for more. Thank you so much. If I could figure out how to stop this.